Hey guys, welcome to our tips number 50. And this is a really cool one. So we're gonna be going through Trelloscope JS. And this is an amazing library that allows us to make visualizations like this that we can scroll through and kind of go back through and analyze lots and lots of data visually using ggplot and also Plotly. So I'm gonna show you how to make this also interactive too. So first things first, what you wanna do if you haven't done so already, sign up for the weekly R tips and you will get access to all of our code, our entire code base. If I go over to my files, we've got now 50 labs. We've got the 50th one down here. Let me refresh this so you can see we got all sorts of ones. Okay, so um, next thing, uh, documentation for Trelloscope JS. If you wanna learn more beyond this, then go here, but I'm gonna get you set up really quickly. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna install the packages Trelloscope JS. You're gonna hit Control and Enter and that's gonna run that here. I'm gonna do Control Shift C to comment that back out. I already have it installed, so I'm good to go. All right, next thing, I'm gonna load three libraries, the Tidyverse, which is our core library. I'm gonna load Plotly, although it's not necessary, um, if you have Plotly installed, you want to have Plotly installed for the bonus when I show you how to make this interactive later on. And then we're going to use Trelloscope JS, our main package for today. All right, the data set that we're going to be using, MPG data set, and what this is is vehicle manufacturers, and they've got all sorts of different features in here that are related to the fuel economy of these vehicles, like the manufacturer name, the model of the, the, the vehicle, uh, the displacement year, so on. So we're going to explore some of this. Um, so we're going to dive in here. First, I'm going to show you how to use ggplot in order to be able to uh, work with the um, Trelloscope JS library. All right. So first, what we're going to do here is we're just going to make a, kind of a normal ggplot that I would make like this. Um, and this is just a faceted ggplot, or excuse me, just a regular ggplot. And um, what we what we use Trelloscope JS for is to then take this and do what's called faceting. So we're gonna facet uh, using the manufacturer. So we're doing displacement versus highway. We've got displacement, we've got highway fuel economy, and we can see that the bigger the engine size, the highway fuel economy goes down. But maybe we wanna understand, okay, how does this, how, do, how does the manufacturer play into this? What effect does the manufacturer type have? And manufacturer, there could be many different manufacturers like Audi, Audi, uh, Mercedes, Jeep, for example, and they all might, might have differences. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this facet Trelloscope JS. If I run this, control enter, what it's doing is it's producing all the facets using this thing called Trelloscope. So Trelloscope has a grid that you can control. You can increase the number of rows and decrease the number of rows, increase the number of columns, decrease the number of columns. Um, you can add labels. So this is really cool. This is this is super amazing. So you see how you have a label here of manufacturer because we're faceting by manufacturer over here. Well, what we can do is we can add other labels in here. So I might want to understand like the min and max uh, displacement so I can add those in. Um, if I scroll back down here, um, we can add in highway min, highway max, highway mean. And then if I go back over here to my visualization, um, and uh, if I go to my grid, I can zoom in, zoom, zoom out. We'll try and zoom out a little bit. So that way we can see this a little bit better. Um, and you can quickly, the nice thing is you can quickly visualize all of the different manufacturers, see lots of key information on all of these. Now it gets even better guys. So check this out, a mega bonus for today. We can actually make this interactive. So I can actually use this thing called the Plotly integration. So if you see facet Trelloscope, it's got this parameter called as Plotly equals true. So I'm just gonna do control and enter and check this out, guys. This is amazing. All right, just like that, it's now an interactive plot and I have all of the same plots. So isn't that cool, guys? Um, we can see all of the different manufacturers. I can do the same thing with the labels. If I wanna add you know, displacement min and max here, uh, and you can, you can add the labels, you can adjust the grid, say if I wanna make these a little bigger, um, I might do you know two, two by two, um, and uh, or if I wanna add another uh, column two by three and there we go we've got all of our stuff and we can quickly eat and easily analyze all right guys so this was uh trelloscope js i definitely want you guys to check that out if you guys want to learn more though 
If you want to learn more about R, if you want to learn about shiny web apps, if you want to learn about data science and all of the skills that I learned that made me super valuable to my companies that I've worked for in the past, then I have a special masterclass for you. So uh, you're going to go to this link here and I'll put a link in the video notes. Uh, you're gonna it's a 40 minute webinar it's free to attend guys i made it freely available for you guys i pre-recorded it so you can watch it on your schedule and it's going to give you the 10 secrets to becoming a six-figure data scientist so you, so you can learn r shiny web apps and have a job a cutting edge job with companies like apple google netflix and so on so check that webinar out if you want to learn more about r and shiny and learn from the 10 things that i found most valuable in my career all right till next time see you guys bye